Previously on Karen Control. One of the most unbearably hateful Karens of all time. Excuse, do you not Step tell the me back. Excuse Step me? Step the back. Excuse me? You need to leave. You're so dumb. You're sexually harassing me. These are unprecedented levels of Karen. This is one. What's up guys? It's ya boy, PJ Cole, his royal fatness. Batman Jones. Thank you so much for taking a couple minutes out of your day and spending them with me. We got a really juicy one for you today, so buckle up and welcome to episode two of Karen Control. Let's get it. Oh, oh, I'm going to the before we get into it, please subscribe to my channel. I'm going to be making a lot of funny videos going forward. You're not going to want to miss them. So please hit subscribe to officially join Thick Nation. We are the world's thickest army and we are coming for everybody. So you may be asking yourself, why two Karen Control episodes right in a row? Doesn't this chubby little bitch know that he just put out a Karen Control video last week? And the answer to that is yes, I do know, but there's just so much work to be done. We are getting flooded with calls about crazy Karens and we need to start chipping away at it. If you missed episode one of Karen Control, you can check that out right here. It's juicy as all hell, baby, so go check that out. It'll be it'll be in that little eye. That little eye just right up there. Look at the little, little, little eye. In that episode, we took a look at a lady who went crazy in public when a young couple hugged each other in a restaurant. After that, I figured she's got to be an especially bad one, right? A one-off. Uh, nope. There are terrible Karens all over the place. America and the internet seem to be just chocked full of Karens. Now that we all have cameras in our pockets, we're getting to see the Karens up close in their natural habitat, yelling at managers and strangers. Cell phone cameras have been essential in our Karen control efforts. Well, for this episode, I figured we'd take a look at a couple of different Karens to see if we can't put a dent in America's war on Karen. We want to end Karen culture once and for all. I just want to do my part, but I am just one man. For our first clip today, we have a Corona Karen. Now again, if you didn't see my video last week, I mentioned that all the Karens have been cooped up inside for a couple months, so they've been, they've been saving up their hatefulness for this very moment. So ever since the pandemic broke, in certain stores around America, they've been limiting the things you can buy and can't buy. Basically, they're cutting out non-essential things. Well, our first Karen of the day walked into a grocery store to buy some kind of storage container, and it is not on the approved list of items. Inconvenient? Sure. But is it worth flying off the handle about? Let's see what Karen thinks about this. It's essential for me. It's, um, it's not up to you, it's up to the uh, government. Oh, it's essential for Karen, baby. That's all that matters. As you can see in the clip, uh, Karen herself is the one filming. I've noticed in my research that Karen often films as if she's in the right, which she never is. But it's good for us, because we get to see things through the eyes of Karen. A POV. The government, gets, the government said no food storage? Yeah, no food storage. Uh, the government says I can have food storage, does it not? Oh, I want to see this list. This is great. Last week. Okay, plastics. Okay, but I'll bet it says you can have food storage, can you not? Essentials, kitchen gadgets. That would be a kitchen gadget. Cleaning supplies, paper products, any of the food storage. Holy crap, it says food storage. Who gets to say what's food storage? I'm storing food in that. How do you know I'm not storing food in that? I'm telling you I'm storing food in that. In your little government list, oh, well, let's get a picture of this. Okay, so if you can't tell from the context of the clip, she is clearly buying something from one of the non-essential departments of the store and trying trying the old sneakeroo trying to pass it off as food storage even though we all know damn well you ain't storing no food in there Karen not today Karen got it I already got it Melissa I already got it so you mean you're refusing to sell me food storage items yes. And this is bath storage items. I'll bet you it says bath storage on here. Oh, it's some kind of bath storage item. Okay. Because I, I, you can't really see in the video what it is. But apparently it's bath storage. Don't know what you'd store in the bath. But as you can see, we don't have a hero this time like we did in the first episode of Karen Control. Which is unfortunate. Because I would love for somebody from the Karen Control to be there at every Karen sighting. 
but it's just not in the cards. Unfortunately, a lot of the times, it's just normal, hardworking people trying to do their fucking jobs when Karen shows up. Oh, I, oh, I'm going to the news with this. They're going to see all of this. So you're denying me food storage. Yes. Oh, Karen's going to the news with this. You watch out. I'm going to the news with this is a classic Karen line. It's right up there with, can I talk to the manager? I'm calling the cops. I'm suing you. It's great stuff. Great stuff. Classic Karen right here. Okay, and what was your name, sir? You don't want to tell me. That's okay. I got your face. All right. Oh, God. <laughs> no, you didn't get his face. It's covered by a mask, you moron. At best, you have his eyes. Like I said, the Karen's been cooped up. Okay, they've been itching for a manager to bitch to. So warning to all managers, protect yourselves out there because Karen is coming for that ass. Now that is a sweet woman right there. I don't know why those grocery store dicks won't change the rules for this very smart and rational woman right here. How dare those employees follow the rules and do their job. The nerve. I hope she does take it to the news. I'm sure if she did call the news, the news was like, uh, yeah, no sh lady, nobody can buy anything right now. Ever heard of Amazon? I would be willing to put good money down that says that she didn't call the cops, she didn't call her lawyer, she didn't take it to the news, she didn't do any of that shit. I guarantee you, she called a couple of her girlfriends, she had Connie and Becky on the line, and then paced back and forth through the living room all night, bitching at her husband. Jerry? Jerry? Where are you? It happened again. What is it this time, Karen? I'm, I'm really busy. I'm, I'm sorry, what? You're what? Nothing. What happened? That's what I thought. I went to the store and they refused to sell me food storage items. Food storage, Jerry. Why, would, why wouldn't they sell you food storage? Well, it wasn't really food storage per se. But... You were gonna use it as food storage? No, obviously I wasn't gonna use it for food storage, but they don't know that. Okay. The absolute nerve of those people. I'm, I'm gonna call the cops, I'm gonna have them brought up on charges and jailed for life. Um, they had this little government approved list and I saw it and I filmed it. Oh, I'm going straight to the news with this. They have not heard the last of me. Oh no, they haven't. I mean, the absolute nerve of those people. How dare they deny me such an item? How do they know that I don't need those things to store my food in? Who the hell are they to say where I store my food? I'm on hold with my lawyer right now. I wonder if I could afford to give up half of my stuff. It's starting to look real good. I can't do this shit anymore. Jerry, get on board with this because I feel like I'm the only one bringing anything to the table. <laughs> I feel bad for that poor man. So that lady was hateful as all hell. There's no doubt about it. That is a classic Karen. But wait until you get a look at this second lady. She ranks right up there with the lady from the first episode of Karen Control, if not worse, which is a very high bar that has been set. I warn you, brace yourselves. These are extremely high levels of Karen. <laughs> Boy, that escalated quickly. I mean, that really got out of hand fast. Oh my god. She is yelling at this Chinese woman for speaking Chinese in her own store. Oh, she is so openly hateful and racist. What a bitch, God. How do you get to this point? How do you get to these levels of Karen? Unbelievable. She's telling her to shut up, that she's rude, and to speak English in her store. She's rude? You are the rudest person on earth. This lady really just pisses me off. I, I can't believe, I was begging, the whole time I was watching it, I was begging that lady was gonna reach across and punch her in the face. Who do I complain to about her? Oh, I hate this woman so much. You are such a bitch. This is driving me crazy. I, I can't even make jokes about her. This was supposed to be funny, but I can't even make jokes about her. She is too awful. I'm like, this woman needs to be stopped. <laughs> Jesus. 
就是就跟他老师说，就跟其实所有人都认识的是因为Oh, she wants to talk to the manager. Everybody drink. Oh my God, this lady is insane. I've never hated a stranger in a random YouTube video this much. She's cursing out every employee. Again, being openly hostile and openly racist. She's telling her to speak English in her own store. Why? Why? That's not that big of a deal. It doesn't affect you. There is no way that she walks around like this all day, every day, and is still alive. I hate to say it, but honestly, I hope this lady was going through some stuff, like a divorce maybe, which frankly would make sense. And she doesn't just act like this all the time. Because if that's the case, we need to step up our Karen control efforts because the problem's much worse than we thought. It's Karen Unchained out here. It's like the wild, wild Midwest. Look it up. If you want to talk to this, you bring your manager here to get yet, or go speak Chinese with other stuff, talk to somewhere else. Get you somewhere else. What the hell is going on? If you start fighting with all your people, then get him in the back. That is rude. Shut up and get out of here, you idiot. If I was going to offer some constructive criticism, I would say this guy kind of messed up a little bit because he bit. You never bite. Never bite. That's how Karen wins. But of course, it's still overwhelmingly her fault. There is no way she walks around like this all day every day. God, I hope she was going through something. That's the only even smidgen of defense to acting like that big of a I hate her so much. I, I kind of wish a piano would fall out of the sky and land on her. A little. A little bit. Oh, look at that resting face. Oh my word. She's got a mean case of RBF. Mm. She has a child. Somebody slept with her at one point. <laughs> it makes me feel so bad that she has a little kid with her. Does that kid stand a chance? A, does he stand a chance not to be like her? Because please, kid, fight it. Don't be a male Karen. I hate her so much. Jesus Christ. She goes beyond Karen. That That is a horrible person. <laughs> How does she function in society? being like that. I mean, people must just be lining up to punch her in the face. Karen, must I quote MJ again? Please, take this great man's advice. Stop it. Get some help. As you can see, I have so much work to do in the Karen control department. The Karens are getting much worse and they're getting much more bold. So, protect yourselves out there. If you spot a Karen in the wild, make sure you avoid her and report her to the Karen control. Well, thanks for watching, guys. I can't believe how many awful Karens there are out there. Well, we're gonna keep fighting the good fight here at Fat Man Jones TV. We will rise against the Karens. We are now the Karen Rebellion, so watch out, Karen. We're coming for all of you. If you ever see a Karen that you want me to check out or suggest any other video, feel free to leave a comment below, or you can go over and check me on my socials at Fat Man Jones TV on Twitter and Instagram. It'll be right here and in the description. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a like because it really helps me out. And don't forget to subscribe to Fat Man Jones TV and officially join Thick Nation. I'm gonna have a video coming out here in just the next few days on a brand new series called Crazy AF. And basically, it's going to be me reporting on some of the crazy shit I find on the internet, on TV, wherever. And I can't guarantee everything's going to be like current and topical, but I can guarantee it will be hilarious. I have, I have, what the fuck? I have dumb AF for the dumb stuff. I have cringe AF for the cringy stuff. I find so much crazy shit, I need a crazy AF. So, I'm going to be launching Crazy AF here in just the next few days, so be on the lookout for that. For our very first episode, we have something really funny. I don't want to give too much away, but it was a Tinder experiment done by a man, and it is crazy. You guys will not believe what he found. And be on the lookout for 
another episode of PJ and TJ, baby. I loved the first PJ and TJ so much. I, I still think it's so fun. I personally think it's the best video on my channel, but that's just me. If you missed episode one, you can check it out right here. I'm really looking forward to that. We got something great lined up for the second episode. We are going to be tackling Twitch Thoughts and Simps because TJ has no idea what any of that means or what's going on in the simp department. So that's gonna be so good. I can't wait for y'all to see that. We are rolling on Fat Man Jones TV. Thank y'all so much to my new supporters, including Wendy. I saw that, thank you. I gotta say, I really love doing this. I'm more motivated than ever, and I have more shit to talk than ever. So with that being said, thanks again so much for watching, guys. I love you all, and I will see you in the next one. I am PJ Cole, your neighborhood friendly fat man, and I am out. And don't forget, Stay thick, baby. All night, all night, you ain't call me. But it's okay, it's alright, I'm popping hobby. can do no right, dirty spy with that jolly. I'm rolling good, I'm feeling nice, bitch, you can stop me. All night, all night, you ain't call me.